Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I am up at Wiggins Pass this morning in North Naples, Florida. Fifty four degrees right now, fifty four degrees. A little breeze blowing, not too bad. Expecting today's high to be right up around seventy five. Looks like the water's calmed down a little bit, not as many waves as the other day. Tide is on its way out. Some nice colors down there to the southwest. Beautiful. Look at those colors. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Got a few clouds up here. I don't know if we're going to see any. We saw a little pink this morning, a little pink earlier this morning before I got out here. There was some pink in the sky. And some really deep, deep pink, almost red over on the horizon, but I think that's all faded out. It didn't last very long, only a couple minutes. there's any color when we get around the corner here behind the trees. Uh, down along the horizon where you see those clouds, that was a deep, almost red this morning as I was heading over here. But in the 10 minutes it takes me to get here and get into the gate, out onto the beach, it's gone. <laughs> All these clouds up here this morning were, were pink. Still beautiful though, still a beautiful morning. Might be some interesting shells down here this morning. I don't know. I see some shells down here under my feet. I have to take a look at them. A closer look. Still a little dark out here. Saw our friend Elsie at the front gate this morning. Oh, I see one little shell I'm gonna pick up for sure. A little horse conch. A little horse conch. Oh, it's got a big chip in it, darn it. Cool shells though, the horse conchs. That would have been a nice one, but it's busted up. Darn it. Doggone it. Yeah, maybe we'll get lucky and find another one. Wouldn't that be sweet? Somebody will keep that, though. I'm going to toss it up on the beach. Yeah, I think we're going to find a few shells out here this morning. There's a little tulip. A little tulip shell.
Wait for the sun to come up here. It's still a little hard to see him. At least for this old man. The tide's going out, so that's good. I haven't found any nice cone shells lately either. We'll see what happens this morning. See how our day goes. We haven't seen any darn dolphins lately either. Unfortunately. not forget about all of our friends in need of prayer this morning anybody that needs some prayers please let us know that's what we're here for we're here to support each other we're pretty much a family here tuning in this morning. Jackie, good morning, Jackie. How are you? How are you doing? Kim, good morning, Kim. Paul, good morning, Paul. Good morning, Dawn. Good morning, Fran. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Linda. Good morning, Linda. We miss you, Jackie. We miss you, too. We miss all of our beach friends. It's so much fun when y'all are down here. just makes a world of difference when Roy has company here in the mornings at the beach. He's just, he's a different person when somebody's hanging around with him here at the beach. Yesterday we had our friends Albert and Robin here. I think they'll probably be out again today. We'll see. From Boston. Great people. More great people. Like I always say, we these beach walks attract the best people. Such wonderful people following along with us and showing up at the beach, surprising us. <laughs> I love it. That's a nice sized boat there. That's a pretty good sized boat. Three motors on that baby. Sucking the gas down. Sucking the gas down. No dolphins in tow. A lot of times the dolphins will follow the boats out to pass. Sometimes they put on quite the show behind them, playing in the wake. Jumping up out of the water. And out he goes, out he goes. Again, it was 57 to 55 to, what was it, 54. 54 when I came out here, 54. Not too bad today. Chilly. It's on the chilly side for me, but not bad. Not a big wind blowing, not a strong breeze. That makes a huge difference. High today is going to be around 75.
getting a little color on the edges of those clouds as the sun starts to rise here. You can see the glow over there in the sky where it's going to pop up over in the southeast. I was looking at some pictures from August out here and the sun was rising over in here back in August. It actually comes up over in here in the summer. Still rising later and later. Beautiful, oh, absolutely beautiful. Tenley, good morning, Tenley. I haven't seen you on a Coons age on here. Good morning, Tenley. Cindy, there she is, there's Cindy. Good morning, Cindy. Here comes Elsie. Elsie's coming up the beach bright and early this morning. I saw her at the front gate this morning when I was coming in. Boy, I am seeing a, a lot of cockle shells up here again. Yesterday we saw a lot of cockles down the beach. Up here at the pass, I'm seeing a lot of cockle shells this morning. They're such beautiful shells, the cockles. Kelly, good morning. Good morning, Kelly. Prayers are still going out for you, dear. We're praying for you. God bless you. Quite a few whelk shells up here as well. Quite a few lightning whelks. Lightning whelks. This is this one's kind of faded out here. It's in pretty good shape, but faded out. Nice brisk morning. Not as bad as it was a couple days ago. <laughs> as long as that wind's down, it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, when it's 75 in the morning, we're off to a bad start. <laughs> Is he? Oh boy. Everybody's getting an early start. <laughs> Roy's on his way up the beach. You know, I'm looking at the tide here. It might be coming in. It might be coming in still. So I want to scoot along here and just check out some of these shells that I saw up here around the corner. Seen a lot of fighting conchs as well. A lot of fighting conchs. Uh, there's an old broken moon shell over there. You can see fighting conks, all different sizes, colors. Little baby fighting conk over there. Fairly common shells, the Florida fighting conks. Love to see some live ones. Would love to find some live fighting conks. I've not seen any since the red tide of last year. 
on our beach. There's what would have been a beautiful moon shell. Just a piece of one. Nice big eye on it. The shark eye. Piece of a moon shell. Let's see the inside of it there. Yeah, lots of fighting conks up here. Again, lots of cockle shells, lots and lots of cockles. There's a cockle down there. There's an old crown conch, a king's crown. You can see the inside of it. An old crown conch. What else do we have down here? There's a little pen shell, a little one. Hey, that's in good shape. I don't actually have any pen shells. They're usually too big to keep. That's a nice little pen shell right there. So I can get it to focus here. The pen shell. Why do they call that a pen shell? A lot of you know the answer to that. The pen shell, just like a writing pen. Well, it's because when you hold it on its end like this, it looks like an old-fashioned fountain pen, writing pen. So they call it a pen shell. That's a nice little one there, in good shape. Stick that in my pocket with my tulip shell that I picked up earlier. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Where's a neat shell down here if I can? I'm walking on a, a bed of shells here, a carpet of shells. I see a big moon shell. See what shape that's in down here. Ah, it's busted up. Darn it, all pitted up. Thought I was gonna get me a nice big moon shell this morning. Not yet, maybe in a little while. Maybe soon, keep on looking. Here's one of those Sunray, what do they call it, Sunray Venus? There might be something in, inside of this one. This one is alive. This one's got something inside it. I'm gonna toss it back in the water. There's still a, I don't know what you call that, a clam or a mussel. There's still something inside of there. Beautiful shells though, the sun rays. Can you figure out why they call it the sun ray? I can't open that, so there's definitely something in there holding it shut, keeping it closed. Doesn't want us to see it. <laughs> Camera shy. Another 
little lightning whelk over here. That's a nice, that's in good shape here. It's got some good color left to it, this lightning whelk. Eh, a little chip up on the top. That somebody might want that. You know, if you don't, if you're just starting a shell collection, you can always replace them. Start with something and replace it with the nicer one. The lightning whelk. Big turkey wing shell, a turkey wing. Not smelling any red tide out here this morning. Not smelling any of that red tide. So far, no dead fish on the beach. Keeping my fingers crossed. Did you see, I shared the map this morning with the red tide on it. And it looks like we're in pretty darn good shape up here in northern Collier. Actually, all along Collier County. Check out the map. Save that link. I share that link to the Red Tide status report. Save that link so you can check on it yourself. Bookmark it. Oh, darn it piece of an angel wing over here it's missing the end nice size one nice size angel wing shell but it's missing the very tip of it over there it's got a little beard on it love those angel wings that would have been a beauty Again, that'll be a nice shell for somebody for a starter. Good morning. How many shark's teeth have I walked past? That's the big question. I'd love to just look down and find a nice big shark's tooth and say, yes, I got one, finally. Just keep seeing, I look down, I see all these little stones like this. They kind of have the same shape as a shark's tooth. Very deceiving, very deceiving, and they're all over the place. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Look at that, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Thanks again for tuning in, for joining me. Thanks for being a friend. Thanks for being a supporter. Those of you that are supporters, thank you. Still trying to increase the support base here. Trying to figure out how to get a couple of businesses behind me here, some good local businesses. I don't want to promote anybody that's that I don't believe in or any product or services. I got a 
couple in mind. Great seafood place, a great seafood market and restaurant up in Bonita. Doug's. Gonna see if we can maybe get them on board as a corporate sponsor somehow. Figure out what I can do for them and what they can do for me. It's a two-way street. Speaking of friends and businesses, don't forget about our friend Astrid Lawrence. Anybody looking for real estate, wanting rather buying or selling here in Southwest Florida, get in touch with our friend Astrid. You can find a link to her website or con her contact info here in the description of this post. Great person, good friend, Astrid Lawrence. You'll see her on here with us once in a while. We used to see her down at the beach. I miss her, I miss seeing her out here. Hopefully, hopefully she's busy. Hopefully that's a good sign. I know she popped on the other day. We saw her in the comments here with us. Hey, also in the description of this post, the end of Naples. Great, great hotel centrally located here. Quite a few of our friends have stayed there and stay there on a regular basis when they're here. Bobby, that's where Bobby stays when she comes to visit, the Inn of Naples. And always remember to mention, just mention Southwest Florida Television and me, Rob Stan, and they'll take care of you somehow the best they can. They'll give you something special just for being my friend. I was really hoping to find a big moon shell this morning. And I have not seen any down here. Looks like the tide might still be coming in. I'll try, before I leave the house, I try to remember to check the tide charts, but you know how it is when you get old. You forget things. <laughs> and there's a moon shell down there. There's a moon, and it's in good shape. All right, see, got one, got one, got one. Good morning, Lourdes. I was hoping to find a bigger one, but I'll take it. It's a keeper. I'm glad I came back and took a second look along here. You know, I was saying I've been seeing a lot of cockle shells out here. Well, they are in all sizes. All sizes of the cockles. Look at that one. Look, that's a little small cockle shell there. A little baby cockle. And you'll find them a lot smaller than that, too. You know, when you stop and start looking at these little piles of shells, it's just amazing what you find. Just the harder you look, the more you find. And they're not big shells. You find a lot of little ones, a lot of neat little treasures. Like there's a beautiful scallop right down there. Beautiful scallop shell there. Look at those orange stripes. 
That is really cool. That is a neat looking scallop shell. Seven oh seven, high tide. I seemed like it was getting close. So the tide's getting ready to turn here now. Start going out. High tide, that means the water's deeper. We stand a better chance of maybe seeing some dolphins up close. No guarantees though on the dolphins, as you know. truck down the beach start moving down the beach here see see who we bump into see if it's the Eskimo pie guy or the Gordon's fisherman we just never know who we're gonna run into on the beach here in the morning when it's cool like this no rain so I don't think the Gordon fisherman's gonna be here today Probably the Eskimo pie guy. Or he must, uh, must be sitting on a bench somewhere, chilling out. Elsie said he was behind her, heading up the beach earlier. There's an osprey up in the pine tree here. Sitting up there looking out into the gulf. keeping an eye out for dolphins for us. You let me know if you see a dolphin out there. Start screeching, okay? Then we'll get Roy to start blowing his whistle.
Beautiful out there. Roy is in heaven. Roy is in heaven over here. He's behind me on the bench with two ladies. I should have figured. I should have figured. He is a happy camper over there. One happy camper. Look at him over there. <laughs> Telling stories. Look at that sky. Still got some colors out there in the clouds over the gulf. Still got some yellows. Osprey flying around here in front of me. It almost dove into the water here. Let's keep an eye on it. It's circling around. Oh. Oh. Came back up and landed right up over top of my head. Right up over top of my head. Ha. It was going to make a dive into the water there, but it changed its mind at the last minute. It is glorious here, absolutely beautiful. Keeping an eye out for those dolphins. Keeping an eye out for those dolphins. Is beautiful. Huh. You look happy. You look happy, Roy. <laughs> you and your lady friends. He's so lucky. <laughs> Roy is so lucky. Excuse me, the old hazards of being live. <laughs> Can't hide anything. <laughs> Can't hide my sneezes. Some nice little waves breaking on the sandbar here. It always tends to be a little rougher right up in this area just because of the shape of the bottom. <laughs> Thank you.
love watching the waves come in around this old dead tree. I got lost in the moment there. Beautiful, beautiful Thursday. I don't know where that osprey went. He was sitting up in that pine tree. But I know he had his eye on a school of fish out there. He or she. I don't see it up there. Look at those clouds. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come on, dolphins, where are you at? Come say good morning to all of our friends. Hey, if you're new to our morning walks, please don't be shy. If this is your first time watching, introduce yourself to the group. Let everyone know where you're watching from. We're just here to have a good time. 
The beach is our happy place here. Hey, if you're in town, if you're in town, and if you're in Naples on December 22nd, December 22nd, that's when we're going to be celebrating Roy's 95th birthday. We're going to have a little party here at the beach December 22nd. Usually starts around 10. You're not going to believe who just showed up on the beach. Somebody I was talking about earlier. There she is. It's the mysterious woman. She's here. It's Astrid. Good morning. Oh, come on. This is nothing compared to a couple days ago. <laughs> it's cold. Yeah, but the sun is really getting Oh, it's so good to see you. I was I was thought you disappeared on me. Yeah, it was busy. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear it's busy. That is sweet. <laughs> no, I'm not into it either, but I, Do I? Yeah. It must be oh all bundled up <laughs> yeah yep so how's the how's thing going all right you, I think you I should show you all how uh, <laughs> walk so cool, right? yeah that's me look at him <laughs> but this is this is really <laughs> interesting <laughs> bare feet though got the bare feet got yeah the bare feet <laughs> can you see what he's doing for us wow look at him oh there's something you don't get to see very often. Yes. <laughs> so how are you, Rob? Oh, Rob is doing good. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. What's new? What's new with me? Yeah. Well, let's see. What's new? How's your wife doing? Oh, well, Gail's doing good. Yeah. She's doing good, yeah. Great. She's busy. She's very busy right uh -huh. now with her driving, her Ubering and things. Yeah, thank you. I can see everybody likes it. Send him hearts. <laughs> <laughs> he would love to see himself this today. Is very awkward. Yeah, it is. This is and this awkward. is how you do with us. You come so <laughs> close. <I know. laughs> uh, the man and the beach. Here he is. So where do we find Roy? Roy is hiding out up on the bench there. Oh, he he's was, over. He was with two ladies up there. Oh, so, so many hearts, hearts. Thank yeah. you, girls. Thank you, girls. Roy, Roy had two girls up there. Yeah. He was happy. So he spoiled he's spoiled. He's already gotten a couple hugs. Okay. When he sees you, his yeah. heart's going to start pounding. And I, I, I tell you a secret. I have some German soup. Oh, I knew it. I knew that it worked when I said that. Yeah, yeah. And I heard this <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I get ready for that. He loves your suit. He so. loves it. All right, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> He's not used to it. Now it's your turn. Oh, gosh. No. How did I? Did I do it? Did, you did great, Astrid. <laughs> You're the first one to ever do that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That was fun. He does a great job here. Oh. You know when we started six, seven years ago? Yep. It was a while ago. Yeah. Job. Yeah, that was back when. And how many followers do we have now? Oh, over 27,000. 27,000 followers. Yep. It, it grows fast. It's, everybody's joining, showing up. Well, you know what's nice is the follow, they're all good people following yes, us. Absolutely. All and good the, people. Actually, you know I call us the beach friends. And yeah. There is more than just being on a video and social media because we make so many connections and it's awesome. And absolutely. The main thing is our. Yep. Roy Our Roy. Him yep. Give him love and that's what keeps him I'm gonna happy. I want to see what he. I'm gonna follow you up there and see what he does. <laughs> I want to see what Roy does yeah, when he sees you. It's been. So I haven't I, seen you I'm for a while. I'm surprised to see the beach here. It's so different. Yeah, it's changing a lot. Yeah. You know, if you don't come out here for for a month, you see a big difference in the beach out here. A big change. And I think this is the nice thing here at the, the beach because uh, it's changing. It's nature. Yep. That's it it's is. Not destroying, it's just changing. Right. It's absolutely. I mean, it. Uh, there's a lot. We've lost a lot of beach up at the north end, a yeah, lot. Yeah. But 
one big storm and it can bring the sand all back. Yeah. That's what happens sometimes. So um, I wonder if Kevin is doing good because I helped him to find a place here to rent. Kevin? Yeah, he's he's doing he's doing pretty good. He's um, you'll probably see him. You didn't see Kevin I yet. Met him yet. I you just never met Kevin in person. Conversations, emails, sending rentals. Oh, he'll be out here. He's probably here now. He he goes for I don't know. He takes walks for several so miles up and down. It? Oh, he, he loves it here. He awesome. loves it here. Great. How could you not love it here? Yeah. My goodness. Even when it's the other day, it was forty-seven degrees when I came out here. Yeah. And I still love it. I still I, love it. I do have some other beach friends which are getting ready to buy a home here. Oh, nice. And you know, I just love to do that. Oh, absolutely. It takes that's, some time, but... Uh, that's what I was telling everybody. Anybody that's looking for property here, buy or sell. Yeah. Give you a call. Thank you. Give Astrid a call. Yeah, it's fun. Roy's going to be, be happy to see you here, Astrid. <laughs> <laughs> And when he hears you got food, is he going to be even happier? Yeah, like, food? <laughs> food, yeah. Oh, what's more important, Astrid or the soup? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how you get Roy to remember your name, is yeah. bring him some food. Yeah, and I think it's, it's nice if we do this. It's sharing. It's easy. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And Roy loves his soup. You know, I'm a little bit jealous. I wish I would be 94 ah. in the future and someone is bringing soup. Oh, food. isn't that the truth? Take me to the breakfast restaurants. <laughs> there you go. You know you say that. and But, you know, it, it is sad. There's so many. Down here there's older people. Yeah. And they're in these, you know, these life care facilities. Absolutely. And nobody comes to see them. Yes. Their, their family just kind of dumps them there. Yeah. And they don't, they just shut them out. It's so sad. I see that all the time when I go to visit people. Actually, I'm, I have another person which I take a little care of. It's a neighbor. Oh, yeah? He's very supportive when I arrived here in the country. He's about 84 and uh, he's getting so forgetful and yeah. he cannot live on his own anymore. So he, they um, they got him a service like uh, caretaking people. They come into the house? But it's like, you know, every day there is a, two different people. Oh, that's no good. And it's, you know, he's starting again to explain everything. It's so exhausting. It's, yeah, not, it's, it's a paid... Yeah, that, that really doesn't serve any purpose. Yeah. You're supposed to, it's supposed to become like almost a family member yes. of those in-home care and services. He's just not open to the public. He wants to stay at home. So it's very isolating. Yeah, that's sad. That's sad. But you just see that around here so much. So Roy is so different. He's so enjoying company and... Yep. Go left. Yep. Go left. <laughs> he was sitting right here with two with Elsie and Carol. Oh yeah, I saw Elsie earlier. But he must have gone up to the end here. I didn't think he. I figured he was going to turn around and come back. I was looking for dolphins. Oh. This is kind of where we we've been seeing them. Was out in here lately, out in this area. Pretty low water area, right? Right. Well, right now it's deep. Right now we're just like at high tide, and it's just starting to go out. But a lot of times we see them all out in here, yeah, awesome. right around, right over there by that little, Bo that little buoy there. Yeah, that's where we see them swimming around. Okay. So we're keeping our fingers crossed that we might see them today. Oh my gosh, I miss the beach. <laughs> I, I hear you. <laughs> I mean, there's mornings where it's cold and I want to stay in the co under the covers, yeah. but it's like, ah, for, the beach is calling. For me, it's like energizing. And, uh, it is. I do a lot of yoga, so beach is also a kind of meditation yoga. Absolutely. Well, you, fresh air. You can come to the beach and do your yoga. I'll videotape <laughs> you doing your yoga no. out here. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, if I have two or three girls, I would. There you go. <laughs> Who's joining us? There you go. Who's Be into yoga? Yeah, Hands up. Beach yoga with Astrid. Yeah. Put you all on paddle boards. <laughs> Get, make it a real challenge. Oh, that's a challenge. I tell <laughs> they you. they do that on Sunday morning here. They yeah. have paddleboard yoga on Sunday mornings. Oh, I got you. And that's I mean all different levels. Some people are really good. It's amazing. I think we are the beginners. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't think I could even get on a paddleboard, let alone do yoga. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy, I tell you. It's a lot of balance, balance. Yep. Oh boy. He made it. There he is. I can see that beautiful red jacket up there. <laughs> you know, people. Mr. Roy. 
Like, There's people. He's walking back. Yep. People want to, you know, people always want to buy them a new jacket, but no people, way. people have their, and that's why I tell them, I say, people have bought him a jacket and he doesn't wear them. He sticks, I, he sticks to all his old clothes. I, and, I tell you, he, he loves his old stuff. He does. You will not change it. Absolutely not. Because he's stubborn. And do you know why? Well, he's, he's a German. Like oh, me. he's a German. There you go. He's a stubborn German. You're right. <laughs> Stubborn old man. Roy. Roy's like, who is that? Who is that? He's looking. <laughs> Looks like an Eskimo. In he it. does. That's what I call him. <laughs> he's got two different. Uh, he's got the fisherman, the Gordon yeah. fisherman guy. He loves, he loves salmon. So yeah. It could be. And this is the Eskimo. Maybe we have to check his I, genetic. I call him the Eskimo pie guy. Look at that smile. He said, oh, a woman's coming out here to see me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <laughs> sweet, 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 sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's a hat. Like a it's. I love it. A great little beach reunion. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. I got a nice color. Early this morning it was early. Give me a big. I think I got one there. Beautiful guys. Hey Roy, I'm gonna leave you in Astra's good hands here. I'm gonna walk back down the beach. I'll see you in a little while. Ah, that's right. Now it's all sand. What time's your choir? Well, I'll meet you. I'll meet you over at Audrey's bench. Yeah, All right. Sit there. Yeah. Where'd you park? Huh? Where'd you park? You can't walk on that walkway. They, ripped they roped off. it off. Yeah. It's roped off right now. Well, yeah, it's gone. They're not. They're taking all the boardwalks out. Oh, Most yeah, of them. Job. Yeah. They're they're leaving a couple of them. The newer the newer ones, but the old ones they're just. They've been having problems, people tripping over them, and so they want to get rid of them. Yep, that's what they're going to do. They're going to put some nice clean sand in there. So I'll I'll look for you around Audrey's bench in a lot, little while. All right. All right. Sounds good, Astrid. Always a pleasure seeing you out here. Always a pleasure, dear. Mm. You're warm. <laughs> See, I, I know why Roy likes the hugs now. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, Roy. She's all yours now. You can have her back. <laughs> Does she? Just for a hobby. For a hobby. Yeah, you could get into flat. Yeah, when Emily comes down, she can maybe get you started there. She'll be down here soon. Bobby called me on my... Bobby called you? Nice. Get some fish. Hi there. Nice. <laughs> Maggie. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, people are worried about you. People are people. 
Everybody knows you're going to the doctor for tests and they're worried about you. And isn't it nice there are so many jobs that have connections now? It is. They're connected on a different level. Yeah. Place. I mean, so many they friends. Meet somewhere because we met here. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. Snowball. Yep. Yeah. No, the friendships that have developed yeah. through these videos, these beach walks, are just incredible. Absolutely incredible. I am. It just amazes me. Do people want to watch us, Roy? <laughs> people, Dexter. Oh, now the the whole gang's here. I might have to get another picture. I might have to get a picture with the three of you here. Get a get the beach report from Dexter here. Good morning, boss. Good. How you doing? No sunglasses. Good. 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 So, uh, what's it look like down there today? Looks good. Good. Shells all the way down the really, a lot of shells on the whole beach. Yeah. Man. Uh, that's unusual. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you'll find another big giant one. <laughs> Maybe. The tide's just starting to go out, so yeah. you never know. Any? Did you see any dolphins? No dolphins today. Did no. you see any yesterday? Nope. nope. Darn. Yeah. I wonder where they are. I don't know. Might be too well, cold. Was really rough, yeah. So. It's hard to see yeah. them. They could have been out there, and we just didn't see them. Absolutely, but but no dead fish. No dead fish. The latest map looked really good for the red tide. There was hardly any spots along here. Any. I saw that too. Yeah. So keeping my fingers crossed and stay that we're done with that. Yeah. Yep. I gotta get a picture of the three of you guys while you're here with us. Oh, okay. Yeah. I gotta get a picture of all three of them. Hang on. All of our good beach friends. I love it. See, this is what the beach walks are all about, folks. Right there. Bringing people together. Bringing people together. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Ah. Those of you that have come down and visited and hung out at the beach with me and Roy... What a treat that always is. What a treat that is having you guys down here. I wish I wish it were possible for everyone to come down here and visit. I wish we had some kind of little transport machine that we could just beam you down here like on Star Trek. <laughs> Bring you to the beach in the morning with us. Problem is we probably couldn't get you to get back in the thing and go home. You'd want to stay here. I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you. I've been looking at some of that weather on the up north there and whoo -hoo, I'm sorry. No, thank you. No, thank you. That white stuff that's fallen out of the sky up there and is all over the ground. No, thank you. Here's my snow right here. I'm standing in my snow right now. <laughs> there it is. Florida snow right there. Beach sand. Well, Astrid went up the beach. I thought she was going to walk back with Roy. She's looking for shells. Boy, Roy was happy to see her. I don't know if she told him she had the soup. Hey, Roy. Wasn't that a nice surprise? Wasn't that a nice surprise, yeah, seeing Astrid? I had to walk back up here to see your reaction when you saw her. I haven't seen her for a while. Her did a she while. tell you, did she say what she brought? No. She's got some soup for you. Soup? Yeah, she's I got some soup. German soup. No. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> hey, German soup. Yep, so you got to stick around. Oh, boy. I, um, yes, oh, the day before when it was really cold out, I said, boy, I said, Astrid, this would be a good day to make some soup for Roy. I just, I just said it while I was walking on the beach, and she heard it. Yep, so she's got some hot soup for you. Oh, my God. So you got to stick around. <laughs> Hopefully it's still hot. <laughs> yep. She knows the way to your heart. <laughs> some hot soup, some cheese, some salmon. That's, that's how you get to Roy's heart. Through his stomach, yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of holds true with you for sure. 
That's what I tell everybody. If you want Roy to remember your name, bring him something to eat. <laughs> if you don't bring him something to eat, he has a hard time remembering your name. <laughs> God bless them all. God bless them all. You do know that Susan's, you know, I didn't tell you about that. You know Susan's sick right now. Mark and Susan. Yeah, Susie's she's got some heart she's having some heart problems. No. Yeah, yeah. I didn't I thought I thought you were somebody told I thought Jennifer told you that cuz she's been on the beach. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep, so she might have to go in for surgery. But I think she's going to be okay. I think she's going to be okay. But So we just everybody's saying their prayers for her. Yep. I don't know. I don't know. Somehow Jennifer has been in touch with her, Jennifer Ann. So she's the one that told me. But yep. So that's why you didn't see her last week. But hopefully she's going to be fine. So it is. It is, it is, you know. But that's why it's good to have friends. You know, it's it's important to have the friends that care about you and are praying for you. There's a strength in numbers. Strength in numbers. I hope so. I hope so. I think so. Praying that it, everything works out. Well, I don't know exactly, and I don't want to say the wrong thing. I don't want to spread a rumor or something that's not correct. I just know she needs our prayers. I know, I know how much you love her. I know how much you love her. Yep. I'm gonna. I gotta. I'm gonna go down the beach. Are you all right here this morning? You feeling all right? Okay. I'm gonna go down the beach and then charge up the battery a little bit and come back and I'll. We can get to Audrey's bench because there wasn't any boardwalk by Audrey's bench. You know, I'll meet you over on the bench. All right. All right, Daddy O. Sassy Salmon. <laughs> Is that your new name, Kim? Sassy Salmon. <laughs> uh. Okay, Margaret called. Great. Thank you, Margaret, for caring about him. That was Margaret that left a message. That was, Mar was it Margaret that called and left the message on your machine? Margaret? Maggie, she said her name was. Margaret. Margaret. You remember Margaret. She was down, she was out here on the beach singing with you. She was singing along and. Well, that's what she said we're going to sing along. Yep, we are going to have another sing along before you know it. And then uh, Bobby called too. He said he's going to be here in a few weeks. Yep, Bobby's going to be here before you know it. That's going to be fun. Looking forward to seeing Bobby. She is a, another ray of sunshine out here. She is, isn't she? She doesn't stop. I think when she comes home from her vacation here, she's wore out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I think she's like the Energizer Bunny. She just keeps going and going. Yeah. From the pictures I see of her with her grandkids and. Didn't see the motorcyclist too. Yeah. No, that's Kim. Well, that's Kim's that's the one on Kim. the. Yep. The one yeah. Kim's got the motorcycle. <laughs> Kentucky Kim. She said her her nickname's Sassy Salmon. <laughs> Sassy Salmon. Sassy Salmon. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you remember her by her salmon. <laughs> oh man. It is beautiful out here. It's starting to warm up too now. It's getting a little warmer. Well, I didn't get too far down the beach this morning. 
but it was such a treat seeing Astrid out here. Such a treat. And I love it when we can put faces to people's names here that you see in the comments and get to see and hear, hear them. I mean, you can see their pictures on Facebook, but actually getting to meet them, see them in the video is a lot nicer, a little more personal. Now that Osprey's back. That Osprey is back up in the tree there. Keeping a keen eye out there looking for breakfast. I love watching those ospreys on the hunt. Oh, just the osprey, one of our ospreys up there. Looking out for something, something tasty to swim by. They got incredible eyesight. He's sitting way, sitting way up there. You gonna take a little break? Okay. Well, I think that's your lucky bench over here. This is where you were this morning with the two ladies. This is dedicated to someone. Most of these benches do have placards. They're all in memory of someone. Great way to memorialize someone. A beautiful bench by the beach with a beautiful view. Of course, Roy. We've got Audrey's bench up in area four where Roy sits. Where is he going? I know where he's going. He likes that bench that's over here. Because you, every once in a while you might you catch a glimpse of the dolphins over here. Every once in a while, if you look close, you see that little white buoy out there, right out there. That's where we see the dolphins. They like to hang out around there for some reason. Beautiful. We're so looking forward to seeing you down here, Bobby. Yeah, beautiful. Well, maybe you'll get lucky and see some dolphins here. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? That water's still deep along here. The tide's just starting to go out. Right. Yep.
What's going through Roy's mind when he's sitting there? Dexter said there was a lot of shells on the beach this morning when he was walking up. Unfortunately, we're not going to make it too far down the beach. I started earlier heading down, then I ran into Astrid. Turned around, went back up to Wiggins Pass with her. I just wanted to see Roy's face when he saw her. That's why he's sitting on that bench. See, he's going to ambush her when she comes by. He's going to spring into action and hug her when she comes by. <laughs> He's got a plan. Boy, it is gorgeous out here. And again, I want to thank you for following along. Thanks for being a friend. and Those of you that are supporters, thank you. Hopefully I can get some more supporters and achieve my dream of being able to come out here more and share more live feeds with you. Just give you all more chances to get together and hopefully bring more friends on. I'd love to see our the number of fo our followers increase. Even though it's been rough for the past few days, the water does not look bad. No red tide, that's great. No red tide, no signs of red tide here at Delnor Wiggins. The water's starting to get a little clearer now. It's just very muddy, very sandy because of the waves over the past few days. Just kind of sad that we're not seeing the dolphins. I don't know where they're at. Sometimes they go to the north. They'll come out of the pass in the morning. They go up to the north. But most of the time they come down to the south. And we get a, usually get a glimpse of them somewhere. And I could have missed them. You know, sometimes you just you miss them going by. It does happen. Hey, yesterday, yesterday, a couple of our friends sent a little tip, a little thank you, a little gratuity, whatever you want to call it, sent me a little thank you. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Remember, if you enjoy what you see, if you like these videos, if you appreciate what I'm doing, if you like the time we spend together here, if you believe in what I'm doing, if you think this is a good positive thing and you want to send a little tip, a thank you, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. And as I always say, every dollar counts, especially now. It's just It's been a really tough six months for me, past six months. A very tough summer. Summers are always slow, but I had some problems during the summer this year and I'll be playing catch up probably for the next six months or so. So if you want to send something, I do appreciate it and I do thank you. 
I love coming out here. I love bringing everyone together. But when I see those little messages from PayPal that say, hey, you got money, somebody sent you money, you know, that just instills the fact that people do appreciate what I'm doing out here. And I do thank you for doing that and being a friend. So you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post if you want to send something. But no matter what, thank you for being a friend and for following along. I'm really, really looking forward to January 19th. There's a few people here that we're gonna to get to meet for the first time on January 19th for our little get together here. It's just an informal gathering of our Facebook friends. January 19th, click on the events for Southwest Florida Television. You'll see that event is scheduled and I'd, if you're interested in coming please 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 let us know just be nice to know how many people to expect here just to let them know at the front gate that there's going to be a, a group of people coming come january that's a sunday january 19th it's it will it will be busy here at the beach. Most of our northern friends will be here. Our snowbird friends, our winter residents, will be here by January 19th. We're all looking forward to seeing you guys. And bring, bring a little something to eat, bring something to share, something to pass around, bring your own beverages. Just remember, alcoholic beverages, aren't allowed to be consumed in the park. Keep that in mind. Try to keep everything in paper and containers. You know, ain't no glass out here. No glass out on the beach. What a beautiful morning. What a glorious morning with our good friends, beautiful weather. Oh, here's a live cockle, a live little cockle, a little cockle shell on the beach. There's a cockle in there. There is a cockle in there. That's a live one. I'm going to put it back in the water there. He's closing up the cockle shell, but I always like showing you this when I find a, a whole cockle on the beach, the little cockle heart. See how it makes that beautiful little heart when you turn it on end? Some people say it looks like an angel's wings. The cockle. Beautiful. Beautiful shells. Cockle stew. I don't know what it tastes like. I don't know what the cockles taste like, but... They're supposed to be, people do eat cockles. I've heard of cockle stew and cockle soup. I don't know if it's, there's many different types of cockles. There he's opening up. You can see the cockle in there. See the spotted, the spots on it in there? He's opening up, breathing. Look close and you can see the cockle in there. There's a 
look at a cockle inside its shell. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to sit him back in the water. I'm sure he's thirsty. The cockle shell. He's just going to roll out into the water in the surf there. Out he goes. Out it goes. Yeah, a lot. You didn't, did you find anything good when you're walking along? Oh, I found. Yeah, I figured you had something in your pocket. Oh, man. Oh, this is, you found this up there. Yeah. I put it, yep, an angel wing. I was showing this to everybody this morning. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, it's got a little, it's missing the tip on it, but yeah. it's still, I said, somebody's going to pick this up, I guarantee you. <laughs> And it's you, yep. It's, it yeah, I mean, it's an angel wing, yeah. nonetheless, yeah. They're, they're neat shells. Yeah. Dexter found one about this big. They're real fragile. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, they're real fragile. I've, I've learned the hard way about how fragile. I put them in my pocket and bent over and crunch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, it's amazing. Yep. Oh, boy. Yeah. There you go. Keep on trucking. All right, Dexter, have a wonderful day. Yep, thanks for being a friend. Our friend, Dexter. Yep, I picked up that angel wing up at Wiggins Pass earlier. And I said it was a great shell, and I put it up on the beach so it was easier to find. I knew somebody would pick it up. I knew somebody would take that. And lo and behold, it was Dexter. That was cool. Yeah, there's quite a few little shells down here this morning. Quite a few little shells. A lot of the common shells that we see, a lot. A lot of cockle, a lot of cockles, a lot of conks, the little Florida fighting conks, a lot of clam shells. Be there's some beautiful fighting conks out here. Beautiful fighting conks. Some really neat patterns on them. There's lots of nice fighting conch shells. The Florida fighting conks. All different sizes of them, too, out here. All different sizes. I've seen some really tiny ones out here this morning. Little babies. But look at them all. Look, there's... Right here, there's... One there. One over here. One over there. There's three of them right there. Conks are everywhere this morning. Conks, and I'm also seeing a lot of uh, slipper shells, a lot of slipper shells out here. Not seeing the dolphins though, darn it. Have not seen the dolphins yet. Well, I gotta turn around and head back, call it a morning here on the, for the live feed. Piece of an old lightning whelk up here. Piece of an old lightning whelk, a big lightning whelk. What's left of a big lightning whelk shell? Cool, very cool. Looking at the inside of it, that's really neat. Get to see the inside of an old lightning whelk. Well, thank you for joining me this morning. Again, thanks for being a friend, a supporter. If you enjoy what you see out here, please tell your friends, invite them to tag along with us in the morning. Also, 
if you're feeling generous, tips are always appreciated. That little bit of extra money goes a long way. It really helps out. I do thank those of you that have sent something. Thank you so very much for being so generous. If you want to send something, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. Hey, have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.